I believe that 3D printing has the potential to change the way we use, consume, and maintain everyday items. This post is an example of how that can come to pass. This is a crock pot I've had for several years. As you can see, it suffered a few bumps along the way. First, one of the handles broke off, then the control knob was lost when we were moving, and finally, a few weeks ago, the second handle broke as well. I tried to repair the handle with epoxy, but that proved unsuccessful. At that point, the heating element worked just fine, but the appliance itself was not safe to use. It looked as though it was time for a new one. As a matter of fact, my wife insisted that we replace it, and we did. But I saw an opportunity to illustrate how 3D printing has the potential to change how we treat the durable goods we use every day, like small appliances. My goal was to use the MakerBot 3D printer that we have at work to repair the crock pot and make it a safe, functional, attractive appliance once more. The first step was to measure the pieces of the handle with digital calipers and develop an initial design for the replacement parts. I then used 123D Design from Autodesk to design the parts. The 123D Design is a free 3D design package offered by Autodesk. The software is easy to use and offers simple export tools to easily move your design into the 3D printer software. When developing simple aspects of the pieces like shape, curvature, size, and hole location, I chose to only print what was necessary to verify my design decisions. I saw no need to print the entire parts at first. That would only waste time and material. I went through several iterations of design. Along the way, I adjusted every element I could think of to refine the solution. In the future, I believe these design steps won't be necessary most of the time. I believe that in a situation like this, we'll be able to visit the manufacturer's website and download the parts 3D file for a nominal fee, then print them ourselves in our own homes. Printing replacement parts at home will eliminate the need for parts to be manufactured, stored, packaged, or shipped. Now this may seem like a radical futuristic idea, but many 3D files are already being generated and provided to design professionals for free, so the items can be easily included in industrial and architectural designs. As you can see, I used several different colors of material during the design evaluation process. This had nothing at all to do with my design. They just happened to be the colors we were using in the MakerBot on the days those test pieces were printed. After a few iterations and adjustments, I came up with these handles and this control knob. I changed the MakerBot material to black and started printing. The total print time for all the parts was about five hours. That may seem like a long time, but I can remember many Saturday afternoons that were completely wasted trying to find a store that carried the part that I needed. In this case, I just started the printer at the end of the day and my parts were ready the next morning. And here you see the finished product, ready for another 10 plus years of service. The MakerBot uses PLA plastic, so I'm confident that the new parts will have no issues as a result of the heat generated by the appliance. That wraps up this repair. Hopefully, I'll be bringing you more practical uses and applications for 3D printers as the opportunities arise. This technology really has the potential to change the way we consume and maintain items that we use every day. Stay tuned. The future is almost here.